For me, the most important part of any given dish I make is not only what you are making, but rather where your main ingredients are coming from. I am currently living in Shargao Island in the Philippines. My lifelong venture from the city into the more wild and organic natural environments has brought with it a huge sense of awareness and sustainability. Now that I have my main ingredient, I'm gonna go on a little adventure around town to see how much of my other ingredients I can find naturally and locally grown. The beauty of this whole process for me is seeing and acknowledging firsthand the circle of life and how involved and interdependent we are with it. Being able to feed myself, family and friends at more of an independent level allows me to support the overcrowded fishing industry that we see sweeping dry our oceans and reefs, not allowing for proper growth and development. Being so in contact with the environment, well, we all become more human, I believe, more in touch with our roots of who we are as human beings and where we come from, and more importantly, what it is that we truly need in order to be healthy and happy. I like my cooking to be an extension of, of my environment and of my way of living. I approach it the same way I approach most of life. I learn the basic foundations of it and then I improvise, I freestyle and, and I break the rules in the same way a musician breaks the foundation of music to make jazz. I'm going to start by um, opening up the coconut and scraping out all the meat inside. Next I'm going to be focusing on preparing the yogurt sauce that's going to go along with the camote fries and the fish and I'm going to slowly blend them all together. Next I'm going to prepare my mango vinaigrette. It's just something I came up with along my adventure. I saw some local mangoes. So now that I've already made my yogurt sauce and my mango vinaigrette, I'm gonna lay out everything I need for my side of greens. You can freestyle this one a little bit. You know, you can start with the base of the greens, you can move on to add the avocado, and then you can top it off with the details. You can, you can throw some dried nuts and some dried fruits that will give it a very nice accent. So this dish is originally prepared with potatoes to make the fries. However, for sakes of keeping it as organic and natural and local as possible, I've picked up some camotes at the market. Now that um, we have all our sides and garnishes ready, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our main component, the fish. Now that my fish is nicely cleaned and laid out, I'm gonna sprinkle it with the rice flour and you're gonna want to uh, very, very, very slowly add, add that beer into the batter. And at this point, just continue plating all the ingredients in your favorite way. Now there's only one thing left, Let's enjoy your food. Mm -hmm. 